Jen here. I am making lavender cucumber soap. Um, I done a poll and this is one that people requested. So we're gonna get it made. I've just mixed up my lye solution and um, I'm just mixing it to get my silk dissolved. I cut my silk in little pieces but it's really easy to use when it comes from bee scented. You know, it's just little fibers. So it's really easy to use. Dump that in there. So I think I'm going to do this white. A lavender color and a light green. Because when I think of cucumbers, I think of a pale green. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Get this going here. Doesn't take it just a couple minutes. Hold on. I'm thinking. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to pause you guys. I'll bring you back when this is about done. All right, guys. I'm going to use my stick blender, of course, to mix up my additives here into my liquid oils. Just give it a little stir at the bottom. Kind of helps get it pulled up off the bottom. back over and we'll get these last couple little pieces scrape this out I think I want the majority of this soap a lavender color. And I'll pour off a portion to color green and white. in and I'll just hand stir it. it. Smells amazing. Just hand stir this in. Grab my containers that I want to use for my colors. Over here. I'm gonna move this over here. these titanium dioxide since we're doing lighter colors. 
you know, I must have forgot about that. So we have green apple. Uh oh. I think this is gonna, I think that should be enough since I'm doing a light purple. We'll see. We'll start out with the white and then do green. my mold. And we'll start pouring. I think I'll do probably like a chopstick swirl in this. Not done one of those today. We'll say whatever is left after this for the top. How pretty. I really like it. Alright. I'm going to clean my finger off and smack this mold down. Now we'll do our swirl. ends up looking like. Who knows? Alright, another smack.
scraping all this lovely stuff out. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Um, I'm not sure when this soap video will be out, but it is the end of March, like the 29th, I think, is today. So, this soap may be several weeks cured, you know, before you see it. But that, unless you're in my Facebook group, then you will see it tomorrow or today if I get photos taken. All right, on to the white. I'm really loving today's soaping session. You know, I now have to schedule my soaping sessions. <laughs> you know, it used to be just whimsical whenever I felt like making soap, I'd make soap. Well, not no more. Too busy with Be Scented. Y'all keep me busy busy, which is wonderful. So, this means I schedule my time to get everything done that I want done. Mama? Mama? Austin? Um, uh, are we tattling? No. Okay. As long as we're not tattling. Oh um, my, I forgot. Oh, okay. Ooh, pretty. That's a good soap you made, Mama. Thank you. You're welcome. And Austin said pretty. Thank you. Austin! Stop! Stop breaking my guy! Austin? Stop, oh, you already done it! Well, if he wants to be like that, he can go to his room. Alright guys, we'll bring you back for the cut. Aww. Hey guys, we are back to cut the lavender cucumber soap. I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. I love the colors. Oh yay! The lavender color turned out really pretty. Just keep in mind when you're doing colors like that. Lavender, it kind of looks gray at first. Trust me, it will change. It'll look better. Like it's an actual lavender color now. It's not gray. Pretty. Very pretty swirls inside. Oh, I love it. And of course, it smells so clean, so fresh. It's it's a it's a lovely blend of fragrance. It's actually a blend of lavender, cucumber, and sage, I believe. I was in the mood to make double batches of soap. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're just in the mood. 
and then sometimes you're not. Sometimes you want to make smaller batches. Now the soap is two days old. I didn't cut it right away. Um, just because we were super busy yesterday and so I didn't cut it. I unmolded them yesterday and set them on my table. But that's where they've been for the last 24 hours. Oh, how pretty is that bar? Yay. Almost there. We'll get this put on the curing rack and we'll head off to the next. The last bar. Now we shall cut our end pieces, samples. Alright guys, thanks for watching.